Today I will show you how to make a bubble candle. We're going to start off with our mold. If you haven't done it already, you will need to use a needle to puncture a small hole so you can feed your wick through it. Um, I've already done it, so I'm not going to show you in, in this case. Um, but basically, just, yeah, like I said, puncture a small hole and then you'll feed your wick through it. Um, just stretch it enough so it actually goes through and pull it in just like that. We're ready for the next step. So I like to place my mold in a cup so that way I can straighten out the wick and I don't have any wick holders at the moment so I'm just using these wooden stir sticks and that way it's going to hold the wick in place and in center of the mold. So because I'm only making this one candle for this tutorial, I'm not going to bother using a formula to determine how much wax I need. I'm just basically eyeballing it. So I'm going to fill up my mold with wax and then transfer it into my container. And I'm going to repeat that process two more times. So the second time I'm going to fill it up all the way and then the third time maybe like one third and that should give me more than enough wax to fill up the mold after it melts. I'm using a double boiler method, so after the water heats up, I place my container filled with wax and just wait for it to melt. And it's almost melted here. I'm using a thermometer that was actually in a kit for candle making that I got at Michael's when I first began making candles. Um, so just waiting for the temperature to reach about 180 and then once it reaches that temperature i take it off the heat and wait for it to drop down um, the temperature should be around 150 to 140 fahrenheit and now you're ready to fill up your mold with the cooled wax and put it aside for about 24 hours and after 24 hours it's time to demold and this is by far my favorite part of candle making it's very satisfying. Well, that is it for today. Thank you for watching.